All right. Well, who is normal and who is nuts? It's a question we all ask ourselves every once in a while. I'm, yeah, mm-hmm. we, we all do. And I guess it's a question that Dr. Keith Ablo answers every week. He joins us now from Boston. Merry Christmas to you, doctor. Hey, Merry Christmas. Santa knows if you're normal or nuts, and, and I do, too. <laughs> yeah, it's not naughty or nice. It's, it's normal, normal or, nuts or nuts this morning. Normal I, or nuts. Our first viewer email uh, says this. Every year, my wife spends about 15 hours setting up and decorating the Christmas tree. It always looks sensational. However, each time she enters the den, she has to rearrange ornaments on the tree. So is she normal or is she nuts, (laughs) doctor? Okay, so look, the key here is the word sensational, normal. This woman is an artist. The Christmas tree is her canvas, and I hope that she's toiling even now preparing for the kids to get up or for family to come over, just celebrate with her because you know what? You should have spent as much time selecting her gift. That must be one big Christmas tree, though. 15 hours? <laughs> well, that's <laughs> a big one. Yeah. Well, she's meticulous. It's okay. <laughs> Getting everything covered just right. Here's another one that came in. It says, my husband just told me he wants to keep our nativity scene up all year long. Is this nuts? Well, yeah. Listen, uh, you know, we're talking about a birthday that occurred on Christmas, December 25th, not July 4th. So while I understand the man may be moved by the Christmas spirit, the Christmas spirit must be concentrated on Christmas in order to maintain all of the mirth. But isn't the secret of Christmas, it's not the Christmas things you do at Christmas time, but the Christmas things you do all year through. <laughs> Yes, but not the nativity scene all year. I don't know. I suppose we'll give him a pass if you want, if you want to be my co-counselor. But maybe, I'm going to talk to him about this. Maybe okay. he's just lazy and doesn't want to have to put it up again. That's what I'm I thinking. In the South, we call those possible. your redneck neighbors. Right, some people keep their Christmas lights up all year. Some people their Christmas right. lights up. Like, all right. Yeah. Uh, one last one here. Uh, it says, I look forward to the holiday season all year long, and now that it's just about over, I feel so depressed. Every year I fall into the same funk. Wow. I think this is a fairly normal it's thing. It's a normal thing. Well, yeah, look, here's the uh, nuance here. (laughs) Yes, it's normal to some extent, but I think it's nuts to get into that rut. I'm going to try to lift this person right out of that rut and say, listen, if all you have is Christmas, we got to expand your repertoire of joy. Go to Disney, right? (laughs) Enjoy, make a big deal out of Halloween. We got to give you something else because this one day as an antidepressant, that won't work. We've got to spread, okay. as you've already said, the Christmas joy all year. All right. There we go. Dr. Keith Ablo, thank you so much. All right. And everybody at home, email Dr. Keith Ablo at foxandfriends.com.